Hey, I'm Kane. And I'm Tara. And this is our new home on wheels. So we just spent the last six months converting this bus. Uh, we set ourselves a challenge to get it all done by Christmas. That meant finishing the bus build, renting out our house. We had a lot of hurdles along the way, uh, a lot of time lost in other commitments like our investment property that got abandoned and then we needed to renovate and flip to literally continue funding this project. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? The bus went away for like six to eight weeks instead of two weeks for <laughs> rust repair. Crazy. But anyway, we made it within the six months. It's not finished, it's not perfect. But we'll show you how we're living with our two kids. Let's go. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. Do you remember episode three where we made some promises? Ah! Ah! It's Tara's turn next. What? <laughs> oh, the ice challenge. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's get this done. Ready? Now that's done, let me show you around. All right, so Kane's done a great job here with this little shoe drawer. A bit messy. Got lots of space in there. He's built the fridge very neatly. It's a king's fridge. Fits quite a bit. As you can see here, we've got um, our towel storage, which is a miscellaneous things we've got sages nappies up here and my favorite part of the bus are these little hooks here so we keep all the swimmers very easily accessible and the girls can just get them themselves this is my beautiful big kitchen it is very roomy very spacious um Kane's thought of a lot of things while he was building this um we've got lots of overhead cabinetry um we've got all the lights that we need um all the lights to touch yep and there's three settings and dimmable and i like that there's three settings but also if you just want to turn it on and off you have to go through all of them it can be a bit annoying but that's okay we've got the gas cooker here i've used it a few times now and it is fantastic i do get a little bit nervous of the heat but we haven't had any issues and we we utilize this little max air fan here um so we're always pumping that while we're cooking while we're on the cooking stuff this little bad boy, it's a Breville all-in-one um, air fryer, slow cooker, oven. We got it from Harvey Norman and we got the display model so it was a little bit cheaper which is great. So about that $500 mark which is good. Um, the gas connection runs under here so it's easy to get to. We isolate it all the time when we're not using it. We've got lots of storage here. So this is currently the pantry. Um, we've got a nice full-size bin, uh, a 20 liter water tank here, as well as a five liter tank that we have. He's cleverly put our little chopping board storage here and our dish rack goes here. So everything has its place and is- In the sink. This bad boy is going to be a filtered water, and this is our normal thing. Unfortunately, we haven't had time to plumb everything, everything yet, but um, that'll be our next stop in the next two months or so. It's a nice big dish, and his we love hiding our dishes in there, but, and it's also a chopping board. So if I need extra space, I can just pop this down and rest stuff on there and utilize that a little bit more which is fantastic because I do love to cook. Uh, so here we've got all of our appliances, little bits and bobs, the rice cooker which runs really really well off the battery. We've got the sandwich press. These pots and pans are so awesome. I'll have to put a shout out. There's an outback. They all stack into each other and they're fantastic. They've got this clip-on handle, so it clips onto all of them. And they even have these little lids. <clears throat> so once you finish cooking with it, you just put the lid on and you can put it straight in the fridge. If it fits in your fridge. <laughs> yeah, which <laughs> else doesn't. But that's okay. It's a really great idea and they're non-stick. I am loving using these. Anyway. Another drawer. 
Um, oh, this is a cute little drawer, very smartly designed. It's got just the oil, the bags that we need, and I got in trouble for the massive size of the bacon crops. Hey, get on the stick book. Anyway. So we have a few drawers here. We've kept all of our utensils in one drawer, which I know can be hard. <laughs> we have all of our plates and cups in one drawer. This is our computer drawer with our chargers. And this is a miscellaneous, little bits and bobs. This is a his and her wardrobe. <laughs> So I bought these bags off Sheen, they're super cheap. I just wanted to try them out to see if we like them. Um, and this is my side, obviously, this is his side. Um, but it slides, it's super handy. I had, I had one of those nice latches on here and then that drawer interfered. <laughs> so solution for that coming soon. Mm -hmm. So we keep Kai's clothes up here. Um, this is our coffee and tea drawer right above our rebel coffee machine which is used very regularly <laughs> but we love it it's handy um, it doesn't use too much power we have an we app make, on our phone that we can make two coffees with three percent three percent that's pretty good so this is a bench seat we put all of Kai's um, activity books and bit of extra pantry there we've got a little temporary bench seat which it is very comfortable. Good little day bed as well. Uh, yep. And the back. This bed looks deceivingly high, but it's got this foam piece that keeps um, Kaya in. But you can see the width. So she has all that room, and she loves it. She loves having her own space. And with the hatch. Yep, the hatch. The climbing out onto the potential rooftop deck, which is it coming in the future. So getting in is a bit tight because we have all the storage, but it very comfortably sleeps us, plus the baby. And we have fans. A lot of my friends have asked um, how we're managing the bus life, and honestly, it's so comfortable. I love being with the family, and it's got everything we need. I am looking forward to when the water will be plumbed and we'll have a shower soon, so keep in tune with us and uh, we'll show you the journey. Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to throw this in there. I've just had our fridge done with teak veneer, laser cut with a custom design from a good friend at Teak and Skateboards. Check out his work. It's completely transformed this place. He can do all custom work, he has his own patterns and designs but he can also do anything you can think of um, this is the product it's very thin very tough it's it's teak wood so this comes from the marine industry uh, it's hard wearing it'll, it'll last outlast anything so we made this piece just to go there make it look a bit pretty but I'm gonna paint it I'm gonna paint it black before I stick it on and this is his skateboard They're pretty cool. That's the grip. They're pretty cool, like, the grip is in the texture and it's very grippy. They are the best looking skateboards on the market. He can literally do anything. I, I got him to wrap the fridge just to cover up that King's look and, you know, it's a nice black flat canvas to work with. I think it looks great. Like right when you come into the bus, first thing you see, completely transformed this place. Anyway, back to the tour. This is obviously where the shower is going. And for now, it's like our little dead space. We just keep kids' clothes. We put Kai's bike here and a few other little things. Uh, eventually, this, this box was just temporarily made. Eventually, it will be what it is now, but I'll build it a lot better and make it pull out into a single bed with the storage and everything. And then once the shower's here too, we'll have some wall space for pictures and up here we'll have the same overheads all the way through here, which I'll remount that. That's gonna be USB charging inside the cabinet. So I'll have like the camera gear and just batteries and whatever. Um, we went with RV Labs 
for the latches. They are the best latches because they're like single action, just grab and pull. The, the other thing that I found on their website is they have these hinges. You don't need the struts or anything. They just lock up, like they hold up by themselves. They snap down and they snap up. It is the best. RV Labs. Um, I designed everything in this bus. I went, I, I had a layout, I had a plan, and then you, you sort of change and you grow as the bus grows. But um, I really ha always had access in mind with everything I did. Is Everything is access and serviceability. You need to be able to get to the thing. You need to be able to pull the thing apart, fix it and put it back. So everything is accessible. Like this huge space we have under our double bed. That just comes up on struts. We have all this storage. That's our obviously our drawer. We can reach everything here and then the rest of it you can reach from the back door. Yeah, it's quite a mess it. at the moment. You can see our our 12 volt system. I can run you through that one later. But we essentially have three chargers, a DC-DC, an AC to DC for when you're plugged into mains, and we have a solar charger. I know the DC-DC does both, but it will turn off from one to the other. It'll switch when you have both. If I'm running the car, if I'm driving down the highway and the sun's blasting, I'm getting both charges. The other day I had 70 amps coming in. Um, we also have the inverter and all the 240 breakers and everything. Everything's done professionally by my dad, which is awesome. What else? I plied up and carpeted these windows just to make it a little more cozy around the bed. And if I really wanted to as well, I could very easily just drop that down and, ch and and bring that bunk down just to get it to the right level. My mum went through and did all the curtains for us. They all run on a curtain wire and I've just put a screw in and hooked it to the back there. So they run behind, it's nice and tidy. Uh, here in the, shower, in the shower, we're gonna have this little fan and light. This will be for the pump so you can isolate the pump once it's all done. And then we have like the driver's side external, the rear external, and the and like the passenger side here, we have two lights for here. So one over the door and one over there. That is these lights here. And outside, we had our awesome neighbor. He has a business called Hinterland Screens. He did these for us. So we just went to each side on the main windows that we use so we can open them and keep the flies in obviously um roof racks from roof rack world adelaide they i found were like the nicest good priced um they're like 120 a bracket so still a fair bit but i'm still yet i'm gonna pretty much build an insane rack up there eventually this is all temporary as well um we'll have a deck we'll have the solar built in properly solar we've got 320 watts just two panels at 160 each at the moment and they're doing great we have the exterior lighting, they're all separately switched as well. And always living, sorting this out with the stickers and a couple of T's. Up the back there's our, our mains plug-in. Our gas storage and our hot water system. That's a suburban 20 litre hot water system which yeah, we don't even have water yet, so <laughs> haven't used it yet. Um, more screens down this side, and we've just got our little pit tent still. Haven't had to use it yet. So, if, as you could probably see, I'm sure people are going to tell me how I built everything one-sided, like all the weights on one side. You can see it when you're driving. But like I said, we're not finished yet. So the weight will balance back out once we finish the build. For now, she's very lopsided because the camber of the road and all the weights on the wrong side. Um, we, have a, we have a tow ball. Soon that'll have a nice big motorbike on it. Uh, that's a wrap. Thanks for coming on our little bus tour and checking out how we're living. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know any questions about any of that. Like I will respond to everything. And we're gonna do our best to get a few more videos out in the next few weeks. Um, 
Yeah, we want to talk about like transitioning from the house to the bus mm -hmm. and the challenges we had and managing the kids and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to put out a video about us, like just introducing us and you know how we met, what we used to do. You know, like we've traveled a lot before we settled down to buy a house and have kids. We did do a lot of fun stuff once upon a time. <laughs> So we want you guys to get to know us. Um, yeah, we've got a few more videos to make. Mm -hmm. We got uh, a bus to finish still. So there's videos to make on the shower and the roof rack and building all that stuff. And then just also like general vlogs of our adventures. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna be some, some good adventures. Once this knee heals up, I'm still gonna get another motorbike. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna have the mountain bikes. The kids are getting on bikes. Everyone's loving bikes. Bikes, bikes, bikes. We have named her. Yes, yes. Thank you for all the comments and the um, name ideas. So keeping with the theme, where she came from, Burley Surf Life Saving Club bus, uh, and the state it was in when we got it. Uh, and being that we're on the Gold Coast, we love the beach life and we surf and all that, so it's going to be... Drumroll Sandy! <laughs> we named her Sandy. Yeah, we love Sandy. We're going to take Sandy to the snow. So the first real stop of our adventure is the snow season down in Jindabyne. We are going to get down there for that. At the moment, we're just hanging around the Goldie. Coasting in the coaster. We're coasting around the coaster. <laughs> and yeah, so first big stop will be Jindabyne. But before Jindabyne, we've got uh, Southwest Rocks where we're going to be building the bus at my old man's house. Then we've got the family property which is off grid out in the middle of the bush beautiful views amazing mm -hmm. it's going to be sold soon so we need to get down there for a little stint and then eventually the snow when uh june rolls around mm -hmm. so thanks for checking out sandy and we will see, see you, you in next a few time. months yeah peace, peace.